Hello everybody and welcome. And at last you know the truth. WK was actually J Monster the entire time. But while you digest that little revelation, let's get into totally WK and not J Monster and not a robot's IWTE tutorial. We're going to be going through the various steps towards using IWTE, familiarizing yourself with the software, and creating your own settlements, which is a fantastic resource for everybody out there who has seen the amazing work that WK does and would like to, uh, to put their own ideas into, into practice and, and make them a reality and something that many people can enjoy. So, that being said, let's get into it. The first step to getting started is naturally creating a copy of the settlement that you want to edit or use in the base file linked in the description. Settlements can be found in the Data Settlements folder located inside of your mod folder. Select Edit World Package and browse to the copied settlement and open the file dot world package desk first you have your name the name will show up in the battle editor so this is what you're going to be looking for when you are placing this settlement in medieval 2's map editor package group defines the type of world it can be either ambient ambient misc tech tree river crossing or settlement these are basically uh, headers that you'll find various bits and bobs under that you can place independently on the battle map Next we have package path. Location and the name of the .world file in the mod folder. The rest are defined in the .world file itself. Then we have type, level of the settlement. Siege engines are determined by this. Culture of the settlement should be set to match the faction. And then of course we come to the final setting, the faction. The creator of this settlement can be used to set up faction-specific campaign settlements and upgrades, much like WK has done for his recent Elven overhauls uh, that add a whole bunch of different um, levels of Elven cities as upgrades for use in campaign and battle editor and so forth. So the first thing we're going to do is set up a file path. This is usually settlements slash culture, followed by castles or settlements. Depending on the type of settlement next to the folder name, usually the settlement name or the level. And then finally we have the file name. After that, change the culture, type, and the faction. If you don't want to make the settlement faction specific, change it to any, none, unused. As long as it's not a faction ID, this won't have any effect. There are different types of, uh, of uh, level of settlement that you can use and, and specify in IWTE. First is, of course, village. Town, which will correspond to small underscore town. Large town, again, large underscore town. City, large underscore city. You're probably getting a theme here for uh, things with more than one word in them. Huge city, huge underscore city. Mott and Bailey, wooden underscore castle. Wooden castle, somewhat unintuitively named stone underscore, underscore keep. Castle is just castle. Fortress, large underscore castle. And then finally, citadel which is just simply Fortress. A little bit strange there, but hopefully that helps you situate yourself within the somewhat unintuitive naming convention that exists. And now after saving your settlements, go to the settlement folder and replace the old world package desk with the new wd.worldpackagedesk. Now it's important to know that IWTE will save these things automatically into the folder, so you will have to go and look for them and change them manually. Second step. Select Read 3 Binary Files and browse to the Settlement folder of the mod that you are working on. First, select the underscore dot world file that shows up. After that, open the next two the same way and then finally world again. It's all pretty easy. It will all automatically direct itself toward the directory that you specify with the first file. So it's fairly intuitive in that, in that way. After opening the binary files, we can update the rest of the file paths. So you're going to go to update reference paths and change them like we did with the world package file. After the file paths have been updated, we can finish up with the terrain overlays. Change over to terrain 1 tab and select the amend WTE sorry about that <laughs> and uh, select the amend WT mask TGA paths. As with the binary files, open the underscore dot world terrain files twice the second time is for a save file when the file is open we see the terrain overlay paths edit the ones which are directed at map overlays 
and update the paths as before. Again, that's uh, forward slash maps forward slash overlays. And you update the paths. Don't edit the micro and macro paths as those are for the textures. When that's done, change back to world files tab and save three binary files to apply your changes. Go to the settlement folder and replace the .anim instances, .world, and .collision files that you see here. And you're going to change them with the highest number in the name. So if you have several copies of them from working on uh, these particular files, always go with the highest number. After this is done, the settlement is ready to go. You can try it out on the battle map. Do note that because of how Medieval 2 works, while replacing settlements using vanilla cultures, it's best to name the files the same way as the files being replaced in order to avoid the wrong settlements loading. So now there's a little bit of homework for you guys. Import a settlement of a different culture into another mod using the steps provided here. I hope that this was helpful for everybody, and I hope you'll join us for the next episode.